hey 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 good morning um it's so bright outside but it's such a beautiful day and i wanted to come on to touch bases with you guys this video may be a tad bit different than my other videos i just feel really led to speak on the topic so that's what i'm going to do you guys know that when i feel the spirit of god i definitely i move in obedience and it's just that's what it is that's just me as you continue to watch my channel you'll notice that i will mention god probably on every vlog that's just who i am that's just the spirit that moves through me and unapologetically i'm so excited and i'm happy and that's just who i am so with that being said i just wanted to touch base on this because i have to remind myself of this very thing and i really feel like it's for someone else as well i'm not sure where you are in your journey but just keep in mind that's exactly what life is life is a journey and we're all on this journey together no matter what your journey may looks like you're still on the journey because guess what god allowed you to wake up another day you're here so therefore that lets you know you still have work to do you're still on your journey and it's so beautiful right it's so beautiful and um praise god for these moments of just realization actualization thank god for these moments of just a re self-reflection I'm, I'm so grateful because I'm not always in this space, right? And yeah, so I'm definitely creating this video, not for who needs it, but also for myself. In this video, I wanted to talk about trusting God and being patient. And let me tell you, I'm in a space today where I'm trusting him and being patient, but trust me, it's not like this for me every day. It's not like this for me when the going gets tough or when, Things are silent and I'm just waiting for answers, right? So with that being said, think about, I wanted to give analogy here, or not even analogy. I wanted to give perspective. Think about each and every time that you have stressed yourself out like crazy. Did not, you did not know what was the outcome. You couldn't, you didn't figure it out. You, it looked like it was just not going to happen for you rather that i was just passing a final exam for school rather that i was you know um getting a new job or rather that i was just trying to get a new car or get your new apartment get your new home whatever it is that your goal that you had set out to do and it just seemed like it could be mission impossible at times think about every time that you stress yourself out how many times probably all of them if you reflect on it that things worked out even if the outcome wasn't exactly what you was banking on, it still worked out. And that's just how God is, right? We have to learn. And I say this, um, I say this in love, but we really have to learn how to let go. We have to really learn how to let go and let God. And with that being said, what makes that easy, easy for me to do is just this right here, what I'm talking about. When I reflect back on anything that I've stressed myself out about, trying to figure out how it was going to happen, didn't see a way, did not know how it was going to connect, those, every single time in some fashion, it worked itself out. And I have to remind myself of that daily sometimes that, yo, just relax. It's going to work itself out. Even if the outcome doesn't come exactly what I wanted, it still works itself out. And sometimes it works itself out so much grander than I thought it would. I don't even know if grander is a word, but y'all get my point. So, and it's just like, that's just how God, that's just how God moves. That's just how the spirit moves. And it's so amazing because we have to learn how to let go and trust God. Once you pray about it and God gives you strategy or if he just silent or whatever the case may be, you have to learn that it's gonna work out. Trust me, however it does, it's gonna work out just continue to trust God because if you focus on the negative if you focus on what will happen if it don't take place you're not going to be able to properly strategize you're not going to be able to properly think you're not going to be able to clear clearly think on your resources that God has given us you're not going to be able to do the proper things that you need to do to make whatever the goal may be um a higher a greater chance at attaining you're not going to do that when you're in a negative mindset or when you're in darkness right so we just have to just trust that it's going to work itself out 
pray about it pray and let it go as hard as that is i'm telling you y'all it is so hard i have literally been in prayer before and come out of prayer and still worry <laughs> and shame on me honestly shame on me and i have to go to god and i have to be like lord forgive me because this is crazy this is crazy this is nonsense but yeah so you just have to really look at how big god is and learn how to let go and let god and you know just think about it, like god woke you up today there was no emergency phone calls i pray it wasn't but for me it was no emergency phone calls last night my family is healthy i'm healthy all my limbs my ligaments everything is working praise god like i have a house i have a car it may not be the car i want it may not be the house i want but guess what i'm not in the shelter i'm not on the street so it's just so many blessings that you can look at when you look at your blessings that definitely helps you to realize how far you've come sorry y'all it was a ups truck and it's so loud but yeah so it just makes you realize how far you've come and how things just work itself out you just really look at your blessings and when you start turning your focus into a positive mindset you start looking at your blessings you be like, okay, you know, you, 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 it really helps you to not focus on what you don't have or focus on, you know, the things that you're trying to accomplish, you know, in a negative sense, thinking it's not going to happen. So I don't know who's that for. I think I kind of rambled, um, uh, forgive me for that, but the message in itself, I pray that you guys receive that, learn to let go and let God pray about it, let it go and keep your mind focused on the greater things. Keep your mind focused on, look around you. I'm sure you can find a blessing in something. Even if your blessing is just the fact that you have a phone to watch and see this video, that's a blessing in itself because some people don't have that, right? So we have to really like sit back and really focus on the things that we have because real talk, me included, we have so many things to be grateful for. We have so many things that, you know, that's a blessing. We truly do. and when it's like this world tries to keep you worried about the next thing the higher thing uh you know we're always so focused on the next thing that sometimes we don't sit in the presence and realize what we currently have now and to give god his his praise and his glory like oh my god i just i can keep continue to go on and on and on but i don't want to lose this message and like i said i just pray that you receive the message go beyond my rambling and look beyond um how i'm saying it just listen to what i'm saying right and um yeah so i love you guys i come in love i'm your sister in christ and again i pray you receive this message and i see you guys on the next one be a bless be a blessing to someone else and have a blessed day later I hate doing this piece. I don't know why I keep doing this. Like, oh my God. But anyway, I love you guys. Um, be blessed and enjoy your day. It's a wonderful, it's a beautiful day. Look all around you. It's so much to be grateful for. And yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.